Macosta County Sheriffs have been searching for the driver in a vehicle involved in a hit and run crash that happened around this intersection on Tuesday. And during our own search for answers, the scene we came across caught us by surprise. Well, I think you get out of uh, what you put into things and this was something that we took very seriously. This is how the search for a suspect began. Macosta County Sheriffs sharing this news release with photos of the vehicle in question. A newer white Ford Expedition, black rims, tinted windows, involved in a hit and run with a golf cart just before 7.30 Tuesday night. Sheriffs told us there were four people in the golf cart heading south on 100th Avenue near Pierce Street. All related, all tossed from the cart when they were sideswiped by the SUV including a 71-year-old driver from nearby Stanwood and a 17-year-old who had to be airlifted to a hospital in Grand Rapids. The suspect's vehicle, nowhere to be found. We go back through our records, look for similar vehicles, uh, any video from any of the businesses or otherwise in the area. Just down the street from the scene of the crash, we stumbled upon this, an apparent traffic stop involving a vehicle that matched that description. Sheriff Brian Miller not confirming if the vehicle and driver that we saw were the ones involved, but did say they have identified a suspect who placed himself in the area. A lot of times when you have accidents, they happen very closely to where that person lives. Miller saying this discovery would not have been possible without the public's help, admitting they don't always get the resolution they want, although still not over yet. Is the suspected driver in custody? No, he's not. Investigation will continue. Uh, after that, we'll uh, pursue charges through the prosecutor's office. What kind of charges could you pursue? Leaving the scene of an accident causing injury. I did ask Sheriff Miller if this is an example of distracted driving, maybe drugs or alcohol are believed to be a factor, and he tells me that it is still too early to tell. So stay with Fox 17 for updates. For now, in Macosta County, Max Goldwasser, Fox 17 News.